Hi there again, Pro Hackers. Uh, this episode is long overdue, but it's kind of fundamental. It's all about ticks and timing. You may have noticed how I suddenly started to refer to ticks in the later episodes without explaining from where they came. Well, I'm sorry for that. The ticks are at work with almost every effect command I've covered, but they're not very distinguishable in most of them. This is how they work. As you know, every pattern is divided into four tracks with 64 rows. Now, every row is actually also divided into a number of subdivisions, and these subdivisions are called ticks. The number of ticks per row is defined with the low values of the F command, so in this case every row has 6 ticks. And the number of ticks are always the same in all four tracks on the same row, but you can and probably will use them in different ways. But the F command, you say, that's how fast the song plays, you may claim, and well, yeah, that's kind of true. With earlier versions of the mod format this was the case. Speed was simply set with the F command but was depending on the frequency of the screen. That means that when playing a song on NTSE it will play quite a bit faster than on PAL. 20% faster to be precise. And this way of timing is called vertical blank timing. But this was more or less abandoned with the introduction of CIA timing which is what the vast majority of trackers use today. The CIA timing is the same with both NTSE and PAL and makes use of the BPM parameter. That's the higher values of the F command, so the low values for F should therefore be referred to as tick speed, not just speed. To illustrate the ticks, I think the 0 and the E9 commands are the most obvious ones, so I'll put some links here and in the description to get you to those episodes. I've also added some information to those descriptions as well. I've also put a link to some very detailed information about the mod format just in case you're still not satisfied or want to dig even deeper. And again, thank you to all of you who subscribe to this channel. 200 subscribers is quite a bit more than I anticipated and I'm sorry this video wasn't very visually or orally appealing, but there will be more modules uploaded very soon. Until then, keep tracking and stay tuned!